All right, so what we're doing is my Camaro Daily Driver has the Comp Cams Trunnion kit. I've got, I don't know, about 20,000 miles maybe, and I had a failure. The bearings actually ate through the casing. Didn't lose a C-clip, didn't lose a, the shaft. Um, just a bearing ate, ate through, and uh, they're real sloppy. So as you can see, we've already got this side apart, cleaned. This is our last one to take apart, so we're just going to show you how these come apart. And I'll show you how it goes together on one rocker, and then you can do your other ones. This is a uh, bronze bushing kit from Tick Performance. I'm sure it's the same that everyone else sells. Um, there's another one on the market. It's a little bit more money. It's about 60 bucks more. If you have LS7 uh, style lifters or rockers, you have to bore the hole bigger for the bushings. But anything LS3, LS1, LS2, LS6, all your trucks that use this standard offset and they should all be the same and I haven't had to do a single thing to get these together. Um, these are very noisy. I mean, I don't know. You can hear them. Imagine your engine turning way faster than that under a load. Very, very noisy. Yeah, so, um, he's going to show you the slop. I don't even actually that bad, but it has a... Yeah. It's about 20,000 street miles. And there shouldn't be any play. They should be solid. Yeah. So, this just tells you that they're not very good. Honestly, I think the factory lifters are better suited. If you're going to run a... Uh, roller style bearing you might as well just run the factory lifter there's no excuse for these comp cams to fail at 20,000 miles that's pr practically nothing um, and it's only a sloppy two cam guys it's 585 lift it's not no 600 inch or 700 inch nothing stupid so hold this camera Garrett so what you got is the comp, the comp tool kit comes with your bench mount and take your rocker arm lay it on it my bench is not even mounted yet. It's just sitting on a piece of wood. But you just push it down. And you can see that it pushed it level. And it's hanging out the other side. Bearing sticking out. And what I do is I take my ball into my hammer. Make it to where it's in. And then I grab my punch. And I'm just going to knock it out real quick. it next in your kit you got this tool nope there's three parts this part goes inside the lifter this ring is an alignment spacer for all your bearings and then the tool see how that goes you just stick the rocker arm right side up come back to your bench vise press it out the other side Loosen up the vise. Grab your tool. Grab your spacer. Grab your same punch and a hammer. And there goes the bearing. Catch the tool. Alright, Gary's going to clean that one. That's the last one we got to clean. You're just spraying it with a little brake clean real quick. Just to make sure there's no contaminants or anything because what you what you don't want to do is get something stuck between the bronze and the trunnion of the lifter it won't really hurt the lifter but it could hurt the bronze okay. so we're just making sure it's clean i'll give this one a chance to dry now what you got to do is you're going to go back to a clean lifter grab yourself a bushing and you're just going to put the lifter oh it went under there. Uh, that's not good. We'll get that one in a minute. Yeah, it should be behind it. I don't know. So, take your lifter, take your bronze, and you can do this one of two ways. You could put your bushing, 
spacer spacer in the rocker rocker on the vise Get it lined up. Press it till it stops. Catch your bronze. That's one installed. There will always be a little bit of bronze right there on the edges just because it's a press fit. So take a little time and just wipe it off with your thumb. And then you want to get your trunnions. What I did on my kit, this is in a nice plastic tray. So I just put assembly lube on every trunnion where it's going to ride on the bronze. That way I don't have to think about assembly lube while I'm doing this process. Grab you an assembled trunnion. Boom. Grab you a, a bronze. Boom. And then all you got to do, this is going to line it up with the trunnion itself. See, I don't have no tool. Stick it in my vise. And I'm going to use the trunnion to guide it. And then it's going to stop. It's because my trunnion bottomed out. Now, I've got this little shaft showing. So I'm going to take my little washer. I'm going to wipe it off first because somehow I must have dropped it or something yesterday. But anyway, got you a washer. Drop that down the same way. Press it all the way down until it stops. And that's your assembled trunnion. You should have a little side to side. It shouldn't be tight or bound up. You should be able to see the locks for both sides and like I said there's always that little bit of bronze so just make sure you wipe your finger around it from when you pressed it in if you know a way to get this to go in without leaving bronze you can add it in the comments I don't care um, and if it's not tight enough or if you don't like the way it's a fit, like if you think it should be just a hair more, just take your little spacer and give it just a little pull. And that will tighten it up a little more. Now you can see the side to side play is less and I can see more of my shaft there. If you want it to be a little more, let's say I think this one personally needs to go a little further. And I'll even show you guys what to do if you go too far. All right, that's perfect. Very little side to side. It's got play. It's got group assembly lube on it. It's nice and smooth, it's not tight. That's perfect. Do, do that 16 or 15 more times and enjoy the bronze bushings. Um, hopefully you uh, don't have noisy ones like mine ever again because the side that we already did of the engine is super quiet and when we get this done I'll make another video and you guys can hear the engine. It's a lot smoother and quieter. There's number one. Thanks guys. Only seven more to go.